This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Hello and welcome back to channel Tea Lover. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and also do not forget to click on our bell icon for our latest update. If you are totally new viewers on this channel, then our channel provides you the free domain, free hosting, free BCC card and many methods how you can own the digital currency. If you got any problem related to any topic of my video or if you need any support regarding ads and approval or monetization then you can directly contact on tlover2054 in the Instagram or you can join the telegram channel from the link in the description below. Without wasting time let's move for the today's content. So in the content of today I'll teach you how you can get the student github pack for your free services. Recently I had made a video regarding how to get a dot edu mail and if you just watch this video then you will get the 100% dot edu mail from the Arizona AS. This is the college by which you can get the dot edu mail. So to check for your dot edu mail you have to just go for the signing and you can just provide your login credential so that you will be redirected to the dot edu mail section of this website. As you can see that this is my dot edu mail and I have got this dot edu mail from ASU and you can look for the ASU ID and other user ID also over here okay. We'll just add dot edu mail in the student github pack in this video and I'll teach you how you can get the student github pack from this video. To apply for the student github pack you need the ID card and I'll show you how you can create the ID card for your student github pack and I have already created ID card also. This is the ID card that I have created and I'll just tell you every detail that should be in this ID card. Okay, I'll just close this and I'll just show you the life proof of getting GitHub student pack from this .edu mail. Okay, so first of all, we'll just go for the GitHub student pack and start our own. Okay, before going for this website, this is my website. There are a lot of useful content in this. Please go through this and this is my personal website. Please visit this and if you got any problem, I am here available at GitHub2054 in the Instagram. Okay, let's move for the today's content. First of all, we'll go for the student GitHub pack and please follow the every step that I've done in this video because if you miss anything, you will not be able to get this student GitHub pack. So please follow the every step of this video. Before going for the sign up for a student developer pack, you have to just connect the VPN of respective country that you have applied for the .edu mail. For example, I have just used the United States College and I have to just provide the United States VPN to apply for this GitHub student pack. So let's connect the VPN of United States. If you are a mobile user, then you can find number of VPN apps. While if you are a desktop user, then you can use the set of VPN that I have shown over here. And you have to just register and you can connect for the United States VPN. As I have shown in the screen and it is connected right over here. Okay. So first of all, we'll just click on the sign up for a student if your VPN has been connected. Please make sure that this VPN is connected and just click over the sign up for a student dear brother pack. So you can find this page where you have to just provide some information. So a student GitHub pack is available for two person, one in student and teacher. So here we are going to apply for a student. So please go for the get a student benefit. So here you will be related to the sign up option or signing page. We haven't created account in this website. So we'll just go for the sign up to create an account. So please click on this create an account. Now please create your account and your username and password should be exactly as I have shown in the screen. Okay. So first of all for the username, if you have just got .edu mail from Arizona, you have to just go for the profile and here you have to just copy this Arizona ID card. So copy this and this will be the username of our student GitHub pack. And after that we'll just use the email address. For the email address, this is our .edu mail. Please copy this .edu mail. So please make sure that you have got the .edu mail first. And after that, please paste over here. Okay. After that, please provide your password and make sure that your password contain at least 15 characters. As you can see that I have successfully created the password. I have just provided the email address of .edu mail and username. I'll just scroll down and go for the verifying this puzzle. So click over this verify. Now a code will be sent to our .edu mail. But I have already told you that all the mail on this .edu will be redirected to your own mail. So please check your own mail to get this code. Okay. Please go for the respective Gmail that we have provided while creating this .edu mail. Okay. So we'll just go for the Gmail. As you can see that I have been redirected to this mail. But here I can't see any mail from this Arizona State University. So we'll just scroll down and go for the more and click on the spam. So after clicking on the spam, we can find the GitHub code in the spam option. So please go it and you can find this code. So copy this. Now paste this code in GitHub student pack. And after that, you will be redirected to the next page. So you will be redirected to this page. And if you just scroll down, you can find some option. As you can see that your .edu mail has been successfully added and Arizona State University is already detected. 
okay so we'll just scroll down and we'll just go for the continue option here we have just got an error that your github account must have two factor authentication so for that we'll just click over it and enable the two factor authentication first so you can use this app but if you just scroll down you can just go for the sms verification also so here we have successfully created our two factor authentication on by using the apps and this is our recovery code i have just brought this section i can show you just scroll down and you can find the, i have saved my recovery code and please click over it now finally your double verification will be on please click on the done now again you have to just scroll down and here you can find all the detail and you have to just click on the continue to go further now we'll be redirected to this page where we have to just provide our id card so that we can get the dot edu mail okay so i have already created id card for arizona state and i'll show you how you can upload this id card okay so for creating the id card you have to just go for my website please go for this website and if you just scroll down you will find the option of website you will find the option of student github pack 2024 please click on this link now just scroll down and you will find a link to get the canva student id card section okay so please click on this design and you will be redirected to the canva by which you can design this or change the name of this id card okay from here you can just go for the edit design and you can edit this design but remember that you have to just provide this id number that you have got from this arizona state you can find this number in user id so this is the number you have to just provide the dot edu mail number okay after that the basic requirement for mail is this one so please keep this the dot edu mail not your personal email okay and next thing is you have to just provide the expiry date also okay please make sure that you have provided the correct date of birth also okay so this is how you can edit and use this template of id card and i have just provided this id card design in my website please go through this and i'll provide this link to the description below so that you can directly browse for this website also now in this section we will just upload this id card and go for getting this github student pack okay but if you just scroll down you will not find any option to upload this id card so here you have to just use your camera so for that you have to just go for the virtual camera of obs and you can upload this id card so i'll teach you how you can do this also okay so i'll teach you how you can upload this card so first of all you have to just click on the take a picture you have to just click on the allow this time and you will find this option like this okay so here you have to just go for the obs studio if you do not have obs studio please install this obs studio after that you have to just click over here and go for the add now you have to just click on the image and select for the image that we have created for the id card so this is the image that we have generated for the id card this is the id card we'll just open this file and we'll just make fit on this screen please adjust this resolution and you have to just click on the start virtual camera on this obs after you set for this id card okay we'll just minimize this and if you just go for here just scroll down and you will find option for the obs virtual camera so please select it and you will find your id card like this after that you can just go for the take a picture now your card is uploading just wait for a while after uploading your photo please go for the process my application so click over it now your process will be like this just wait for a while and it is being processing so after some time you will be successfully able to get the dot edu mail if you just follow all my steps so just wait for a while so if you get this error please go for the github billing information and after you just click over it it will be redirected to this page where you have to just provide the information that you have got from the fake address generator that you have created during the edu mail so please provide all this information very correctly just so finally you can for see that option thank you just go for that you can find your just click 24 hours that has been updated now you can just go for this website and, and you will be able to verify your my app is still back now this is how you can see your application just wait for a while and you will be able to get the dot if you have any problem any secure. question you can comment in the comment section below or contact on tilaur2054 in instagram i have just placed this id card link in this website tilaurofficial.com please scroll down and you can find the section of it is tech news and in this option you can find this student github pack 2024 and you can get the link of canva where you can edit all these section for that student id card okay this is how you can generate the student github pack i'll be again back with you bringing more content like this till then have a good day tilaurofficial channel like share and subscribe with value for your support thanks for watching this video